Hi, boys and girls, Mrs. Batliner, and welcome to our next story, The Day the Crayons Quit by Drew DeWalt, illustrated by Oliver Jeffers. Uh, don't forget, if you look at this second page on here, this is the dedication page, and it is dedicated to Marichelle, Abigail, and Reese from Drew DeWalt and to Ellen by Oliver Jeffers. So they have dedicated this story to those people. One day in class, Duncan went to take out his crayons and found a stack of letters with his name on them. Hmm, what would you think if you saw a stack of letters with your name on it? Hey, Duncan, it's me, Red Crayon. We need to talk. You make me work harder than any of your other crayons. All year long, I wear myself out coloring fire engines, apples, strawberries, and everything else that's red. I even work on the holidays. I have to color all the Santas at Christmas and all the hearts on Valentine's Day. I need a rest your overworked friend, Red Crayon. Hey, Red Crayon did a great job of writing a letter. He knows how they begin and how they end. What do you think Duncan's thinking? Hmm, very interesting what he would be thinking. Dear Duncan, all right, listen. I love that I'm your favorite crayon for grapes, dragons, and wizard hats, but it makes me crazy that so much of my gorgeous color goes outside the lines. If you don't start coloring inside the lines soon, I'm going to completely lose it. Your very neat friend, Purple Crayon. Hey, Duncan. I'm tired of being called light brown or dark tan because I'm neither. I'm beige and I'm proud. I'm also tired of being second place to Mr. Brown Crayon. It's not fair that brown gets all the bears, ponies, and puppies, while the only things I get are turkey dinners, if I'm lucky, and wheat. And let's be honest. When was the last time you saw a kid excited about coloring wheat? Your beige friend, beige crayon. So when you think about the different crayons, how do those different crayons make you feel? Do you think they're matching their personality? Like beige, is beige just a blah kind of color? Yeah, it's kind of interesting how the author has kind of made them all this different, uh, their personalities kind of match their color. Duncan, Gray Crayon here. You're killing me. I know you love elephants and I know that elephants are gray, but that's a lot of space to color all by myself. And... Don't even get me started on your rhinos, hippos, and humpback whales. You know how tired I am after handling one of those things? Such big animals. Baby penguins are great too, you know. So are very gray rocks, pebbles. How about one of those once in a while to give me a break? your very tired friend, Gray Crayon. So take a look at that illustration. Look at how much Gray had to color. But he's like, hey, what about once in a while drawing a little penguin or a little pebble? That doesn't take a lot of coloring. So Gray is very tired. Dear Duncan, you color with me, but why? Most of the time, I'm the same color as the page you are using me on, white. And if I didn't have a black outline, you wouldn't even know I was there. I'm not even in the rainbow. I'm only used to color snow or to fill in empty spaces between other things. 
and it leaves me feeling, well, empty. We need to talk. Your empty friend, White Crayon. So if you look at the picture there, it's a white cat in the snow by Duncan. Can you even tell he used the white crayon? No, I can't either. It just looks like he's on white paper. Hi, Duncan. I hate being used to draw the outline of things, things that are colored in by other colors, all of which think they're brighter than me. It's not fair when you use me to draw a nice beach ball and then fill it in with the colors of the ball with all the other crayons. How about a black beach ball sometime? Is that too much to ask? Your friend, Black Crayon. So look, instead of having a colorful rainbow, Black is like, why don't you make a black rainbow sometime? Or a black beach ball. He's kind of like begging there. Dear Duncan, as Green Crayon, I'm writing for two reasons. One to say that I like my workloads of crocodiles, trees, dinosaurs, and frogs. I have no problem and wish to congratulate you on a very successful color of things. Green career so far. The second reason I write is for my friends, yellow crayon and orange crayon, who are no longer speaking to each other. Both crayons feel that they should be the color of the sun. Please settle this soon because they're driving the rest of us crazy. Your happy friend, Green Crayon. So look in the middle. Yellow and red are, or yellow and orange are fighting. Dear Duncan, Yellow Crayon here. I need you to tell Orange Crayon that I am the color of the sun. I would tell him, but we are no longer speaking. And I can prove I'm the color of the sun too. Last Tuesday, you used me to color in the sun on your Happy Farm coloring page. In case you have forgotten, it's on page seven. You can't miss me. I'm shining down brilliantly on a field of yellow corn. Your pal and the true color of the sun, yellow crayon. So take a look there. He's showing him that he is shining down on yellow. Ooh, take a look at orange crayon. Does she look very happy? She does not look very happy. Dear Duncan, I see Yellow Crayon already talked to you, the big whiner. Anyway, can you please tell Mr. Tattletail that he is not the color of the sun? I would, but we're no longer speaking. We both know I am clearly the color of the sun because on Thursday, you use me to color the sun on both the Monkey Island and the Meet the Zookeeper pages in your one day at the zoo coloring book. Aren't you glad I'm here? Ha 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 ha. Your pal and the real color of the sun, orange crayon. So he's showing him there like, look, you made me twice the color of the sun. Take a look at yellow crayon. Does she look very happy? Not very happy at all. Dear Duncan, it's been a great being your favorite color this past year and the year before and the year before that. I've really enjoyed all those oceans, lakes, rivers, raindrops, rain clouds, and clear skies. But the bad news is that I am so short and stubby, I can't even see over the railing in the crayon box anymore. I need a break your very stubby friend, Blue Crayon. So take a look at Blue Crayon right there. He is so tiny and why is he tiny? Yeah, because uh, he's the favorite color according to Blue and Duncan has used him so long. Duncan, okay, listen here, kid. You have not used me once in the past year. 
It's because you think I'm a girl color, isn't it? Speaking of which, please tell your little sister I said thank you for using me to color her little princess coloring book. I think she did a fabulous job of staying inside the lines. Now, back to us. Could you please use me sometime to color the occasional pink dinosaur or monster or cowboy? Goodness knows they can use a splash of color. Your unused friend, Pink Crayon. Look at how funny the monster is. Hey, Duncan, it's me, Peach Crayon. Why did you peel off my paper wrapping? No, I'm naked and too embarrassed to leave the crayon box. I don't even have any underwear. How would you like it to go to school naked? I need some clothes. Help! Your naked friend, Peach Crayon. He won't even come out of the crayon box. Well, poor Duncan just wanted to color. And of course he wanted his crayons to be happy. And that gave him an idea. Wow. When Duncan showed his teacher his new picture, she gave him an A for coloring. So take a look at it. Look, he used all the colors. Did he use a lot of gray? No, look, I can see some tiny little penguins there. What about pink? Did he use some pink? Yeah. Did he make a sun in this? He did make a sun, didn't he? What color is the sun? Yeah, I see orange, but then look at the whole back of the sky is yellow. So he kind of is trying to make everybody happy. So she gave him an A for coloring and an A plus for creativity. So look at that crayon that's right there. That's a pretty cool crayon. It has all the colors in it. So I hope you enjoyed this book. Now what's going to happen is you are going to get a Google form and you're going to vote on either uh, the first book that I read or this book. And then the winner, the one that the schools liked the best, would be going on to the next round. All right. I hope you enjoy the story and I will catch you the next time.